Hello, welcome to lesson number two. I know we've had some problems with um, videos and some of the links due to Blackboard errors, but hopefully um, things are beginning to settle down. Plus, I'm providing alternative links to all the videos as well. So we don't have to depend on going through Blackboard to view everything. We can view it, um, things on the public side. So hopefully that will help. Uh, lesson number two, again, we will be uh, conducting just a really brief overview of addiction. Really doesn't do addiction justice, though. It's such a complex and confusing topic. Um, if you haven't taken um, the addictive process, it's AB130. That's actually my favorite class, or one of my favorite classes that when I was at Forsyth. And I teach it at multiple institutions. It's a really good class that overviews the... Um, the complexities of addiction, and what addiction is and is not, and challenges some, some commonly held beliefs. So we can't go into the, the definition of addiction as deep in this class as we can the other course because of time, but hopefully I've given you a pretty good, uh, really short overview in this lesson. We talk about gateway drugs. Uh, for example, is, is marijuana or alcohol a gateway drug to hoarder drugs? It's just cocaine or opiates and so forth. Generally speaking, it is. Research says it is. But actually, the biggest gateway drug is tobacco. Tobacco leads to marijuana use and alcohol use. What we know even locally within Forsyth and Stokes counties, Northwest Piedmont, where students who smoke tobacco have a much higher percentage of chances of finding themselves using marijuana and other drugs than those who do not smoke tobacco. We talk about how to get clean in general in this lesson. I provide a pretty good video that's based or directed towards adults in terms of how adults get clean, but also applies to the adolescent populations as well. We, we have a great uh, activity about drugs and how, the drug, how drugs impact the brain and brain activity. That's actually interactive. You can click on and move the brain around and and read the descriptions. It's a really neat activity. Plus, there's a corresponding handout that's extremely detailed that, that tells us how brains impact the adolescent and develop, well, how drugs impact the developing adolescent brain. Um, also included, uh, of course, assignments on the last page of this lesson, uh, including reading, the first reading assignment out of our textbook, the Adolescent Addiction textbook, plus we will be reading um, almost the entire um, TIP, which is Treatment Improvement Protocol, number 32, which is on um, adolescent addiction and, and treating adolescents in terms of the substance abuse arena. That document is, is free. Uh, I will be posting um, chapters online in each lesson, but some of you may want a hard copy. You might be able to request a hard copy off the website I'm providing, although the last time I checked it was out of print. Although those of you in the substance abuse uh, degree tracks may already have a copy of it already or who are interested in the topic. But it's a publication uh, published by SAMHSA uh, in, in the Department of Health and Human Services on the federal level. That is, is like the blue book or the gold standard of how to, what we should know about in terms of, of kids who use drugs and how we should treat them in the clinical setting. So that's very important. Also, I reviewed the discussion boards, of course, for this lesson and looked at, or for prior lessons, uh, remember the discussion board that was that asked you what you wanted to learn about. And I, I wanted to share some of those results with you. And um, these are some of the items we will be talking about uh, specifically in this class because you share some interest. Uh, some of those items included how parents can intervene in terms of helping their kids uh, resist the dangers of drugs. Um, questions related to school drug testing. Is it effective? Is it not effective? And that's really one of my, uh, one of the things I'm really interested in. And the whole can of worms that this opens up for students in the school setting if policy is not appropriately created or implemented. Um, 
prevention in the school, community, and home setting? Is it effective? Students ask about risk factors. Um, what factors put kids at risk for using? Contributing factors. These are factors in the community that increase risk that the youth may be exposed to, that they have no control over of them their own. Um, protective factors. What protective factors or preventative factors exist that can decrease chances of, of youth drug use? Um, media. How much does media really influence uh, drug use uh, in our society? Why does drug use appear cool? Um, does using drugs really help, especially in the very beginning where there are problems and issues? There's no debate in the very beginning that usually makes individuals feel much better, um, but not as the addiction grows. Or babies born of, of mothers who are addicts different than those who are born in regular circumstances. In the 90s, the rage was crack babies and preventing the, the birth of crack babies and, and uh, providing treatment to, to mothers and that are future mothers and that type of thing. The research is a bit more confusing now. Uh, half the field says yes, the heavy drug use impacts the baby. Uh, the other half of the field says no. And generally, the conversation centers around what type of drug it is, too. So we will look at that and the impact of over-the-counter products, such as spice and bath salts, in terms of youth getting high with those products they can buy at convenience stores and that type of thing. Again, I hope these videos help you, and we're beginning to get into a flow of the uh, material. We have some really interesting material. My hope is through mid-semester I will be several lessons ahead of everybody. For those of you who want to work ahead, may work ahead. And don't forget about your reading assignments and the discussion board postings that are posted inside of this lesson folder. Take care.